السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر لشپا رسول اینڈ آئی ول بی پریزینٹنگ اے کریٹیکل اپریزل انڈر دی کائنڈ سپرویژن آف پروفیسر ڈاکٹر سائرا افضل دا ٹائٹل آف مائی اسٹڈی از دا برڈن آف کرانک ریسپریٹری ڈیزیز اینڈ ایٹریبیوٹیبل رسک فیکٹرز ان نارتھ آفریقہ اینڈ مڈل ایسٹ فائنڈنگس فرام دی گلوبل برڈن آف ڈیزیز اسٹڈی We will be using the gathered checklist for our app appraisal. As you can see, this is the gathered checklist. Abstract. North Africa and Middle East has an increasing burden of chronic respiratory diseases. However, a systemic, systematic understanding of the distribution and trends is not available. We aim to report the trends of chronic respiratory disease and attributable, attributable risk factors in this region between 1990 and 2019. Using data from the Global Burden of Disease Study 2019, cost-specific mortality served as the basis for estimating incidence and disability-adjusted life years. The burden attributable to risk factors was calculated by comparative risk assessment and contribution of population aging and growth was determined by decomposition analysis. The number of deaths due to chronic respiratory diseases in 2019 were 1,28,513. In 2019, the age standardized incidence rates of chronic respiratory diseases was 105.28 per 100,000 population and had a 10.3% increase and the age standardized rate was 36.1 with a 32.9% decrease compared to 1990. In 2019, United Arab Emirates has the highest age-specific incidence rate and Afghanistan had the highest age-specific disability rates. Chronic respiratory diseases were responsible for 2.9.1% of the total disability-adjusted life years in 2019. With regard to the components of disability-adjusted life years, the age standard rate of the years of life loss had a 39.1%. 39% decrease, while the age standardized rate of years lived with disability had a 13.4% increase. Of the total age-specific disability rates of chronic respiratory diseases, 31.6% were attributable to smoking, 14% to ambient particulate matter and pollution. Chronic respiratory diseases remain a leading cause of death and disability in the name. With growth in absolute numbers, COPD and asthma were the most common. Chronic respiratory diseases and smoking was the leading risk factor, especially in men. More attention is needed in order to reduce the chronic respiratory disease burden through appropriate intervention and policies. Now, title and abstract. Identification as a global burden of disease in the title. Structured abstract with background methods, results, and conclusions. Now, background. Chronic respiratory diseases are among the leading non-communicable diseases and important contributors to the rising burden of non-communicable disease in the North Africa and Middle East. Compared with non-communicable diseases, CRDs were neglected for many years. In this region, CRDs reached from 12th cause of all ages death in 1990 to 6th cause of death in 2019 and were responsible for 2.91% of the total disability-adjusted life years and 4.14% of the total deaths in 2019. Previous studies have estimated the prevalence and burden of chronic respiratory disease and attributable risk factors at the global level and showed that the prevalence of chronic respiratory disease in the name increased between 1990 and 2017 and was estimated to be 7.7% in 2017. However, comprehensive data regarding the epidemiology and burden of chronic respiratory diseases in the name region are lacking. Thus, in this study, We provided a systematic report of chronic respiratory diseases in the name region, including incidence, prevalence, mortality, disability-adjusted life years, and compared them by age, sex groups, countries, and socioeconomic, say, socio-demographic index based on the global burden of disease, injuries, and risk factor study, which is an essential step to apply policies to reduce the burden of chronic respiratory diseases in this region. Background. Scientific background given. Rationale is explained. Materials and methods. We focused on the methods and statistical analysis of estimation of uh, the chronic respiratory disease burden from the GBD 2019 study. The prevalence of CRDs was estimated by using the DISMOD MR version 2.1, a 
Bayesian regression analytical tool used in the GBD study. All cause mortality rates were derived from the vital registration system, census, and service and were analyzed with demographic methods to correct for incompleteness. Cause of death and sample model tool was used to generate the chronic respiratory disease mortality death estimates. Cod correct was used to ensure the independently model independently model single cause mortality estimates matched the separately model all cause mortality. Mortality to incidence ratio were applied to final CRD's mortality measures to estimate the incidence. To estimate the years of life loss, each death caused by CRD was multiplied by standard life expectancy at that age. Years life loss were calculated by multiplying uh, prevalence of each sequela by the sequela specific disability rate. A brief measure of the cause burden based on both non-fatal health losses and premature deaths was reported as disability adjusted life years, which were the addition of the years of life lost and years of life lost due to disability. Risk factor burdens were estimated consistent with the general framework established for comparative risk assessment. The sociodemographic index is a composite indicator of the development status, which is strongly correlated with the health outcome. Each country in the region was grouped based on SDI in five SDI quantiles, including low, low, middle, middle, high, middle, and high decomposition analysis was concluded to analyze the contribution of population aging, population growth, and changes in the age-specific incidence rates on the absolute change of CRD incidence. Data will be described in terms of absolute numbers and age standardized rates per 100,000 population following 95% uncertainty interval, 25th and 95th values of the ordered draw. All statistical analysis plots and numbers created in the study were performed by R for Windows 4.03. Describes how the data were identified and how the data were assessed. It does not specify the inclusion and exclusion criteria. It does not pro provide information on all the included data sources and their main characteristics, like for each data source used, report reference information or contact name institution, population representative, data collection method, years of data collection, sex, age, diagnostic criteria or measurement method, and sample size as relevant. Does not identify and describe any categories of input data that have potentially important biases. Data analysis provide a conceptual overview of the data analysis method. Does not provide a detailed description of all the steps of analysis, including mathematical formulae. This description should cover as relevant data cleaning, data pre-processing, data adjustment, weighing of the data sources, and mathematical or statistical model. Does not describe how candidate models were evaluated and how the final models were selected. Does not provide the results of any evaluation model performance if done, as well as results of any relative sensitivity analysis. Does not state which sources of uncertainty were and were not accounted for in the uncertainty analysis. Results. The chronic respiratory disease incidence cases increased from 3 lakh uh, 1,504,020 in 1990 to 5,803,364 in 2019, revealing a 1.84 increase. Moreover, the age standardized incidence rate increased from 954.2 in 1990 to 1052.8 per 100,000 population in 2019. With regard to age groups in 2019, the highest incident rate of incidence and prevalence was seen in 80 plus age group. Prevalence rate 2 per 100,000 population among 14 years population. The highest incidence rate was 1 to 4 years age group per 100,000 population. The number of chronic respiratory disease deaths in name increased from 78,174 in 1990 to 1,28,513, while the age standardized death rates of CRDs decreased from 53.8 in 1990 to 36.1 in 2019 per 100,000 population. In name, chronic respiratory diseases were responsible for 2.91% of the total disability adjusted life years in 2019, including 1.69% due to COPD, 1.02% due to asthma, and 0.1% due to other chronic respiratory diseases. In 2019, chronic with the chronic respiratory diseases, age-specific disability rates, and age standardized disability adjusted life years rate attributable to all risk factors in the name were 23.3 and 590.1 per 100,000 population and had 28.3% and 23.0% decline during the follow up period, respectively. The graph shows the time trend of all the age numbers and age standardized rates of the chronic respiratory diseases. In figure A, it shows the incidence. In B, it shows the prevalence. C shows the death. 
and he shows the disability adjusted life years. Discussion. In the name, the age specific incidence rates of CRDs increased by 10.3% and the age standardized disability adjusted life years rate of chronic respiratory diseases declined significantly by 26.4% between 1990 and 2019. This reduction was mainly caused by the reduction in the age-specific disability rates and age-standardized years of life loss rate, while the age-standardized rates of the year of life decreased increased significantly. These findings may emphasize greater improvements in case fatality rather than changes in the incidence and prevalence in the region. Age-specific incidence rate and age-specific prevalence rates were the highest in high SDI, while ASDR and age-standardized DALIs were the highest in low Social demographic index countries. Findings unchanged for, since first estimated in 1990. Asthma was the most prevalent of CRD affecting an estimated 22 million people in 2019, and COPD was half as common with 11 million people affected. Although smoking is the leading risk factor for the disability adjusted life years and deaths related to chronic respiratory diseases for men and other risk factors such as household and ambient particulate matter pollution and high BMI have considerable effects on women. This study has many strengths such as systematic data and method usage while could, which could potentially compare burden of chronic respiratory disease among different countries in the name region between 1990 and 2019, possibly making the results generalizable. Although some limitations are also present, where data are not available, out-of-sample prediction and imputation methods are employed by the GBD and the results depend upon the effectiveness of these methods. Another limitation is that GBD 2019 study did not provide data regarding the incidence and prevalence of other chronic respiratory disease and thus we only reported mortality and disability adjusted life years. Also, there's a lack of standardized case definition across countries in order to distinguish different chronic respiratory diseases. Accurate diagnosis of some chronic respiratory diseases requires equipment and resources such as spirometry, which may be lacking in less developed countries. Moreover, in some countries such as Africa, there's lack of functional vital registration system. Additionally, the issue of confounders, especially between the air pollution and smoking, has not been taken into account. The figure shows the age standardized prevalence of chronic respiratory disease in North Africa in Middle East countries in the female and males in 1990 and 2019. And the rate of chronic respiratory disease, the figure A shows the incidence, B shows prevalence, C deaths, and D shows the disability adjusted life years categorized by age groups and sex in 1990 and 2019. Now, critically appraising the results and discussion, defines the indicators population, including age, sex, and geographic entities and time periods for which the estimates were made. Mentions the funding sources for the work. Provide published estimates in a file format from which the data can be efficiently extracted. Does not report a quantitative measure of the uncertainty of the estimates, for example, uncertainty intervals. Interpret results in the light of existing evidence discusses the limitation of the estimates. Now, the strengths of the study defines the indicators population, including age, sex, and geographic entities and time periods for which the estimates were made. Describe how the data were identified and how the data were assessed. Mentions the funding sources of the work. Provides published estimate in a file format from which data can be efficiently extracted. Interprets the results in the light of existing evidence. Describes the strengths of the study describes the limitations of the study. Limitations does not specify the inclusion and exclusion criteria. It does not provide information on all the included data sources and their main characteristics for each the data source used, like report, reference information, contact, name, institution, population represented, data collection method, year or uh, age, sex range, diagnostic criteria or measurement method and sample size is relevant does not identify and describe any categories of input data that have potentially important biases. Does not provide a detailed description of all the steps of analysis, including mathematical formulae. Does not describe how the candidate models were evaluated and how the final models were selected. Does not provide the results of an evaluation of model performance, if done as well as the results of any relative sensitivity analysis. 
does not state which sources of uncertainty uncertainty were and were not accounted for in the uncertainty analysis uh thank you everyone please like and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much very nice presentation dr lishpa dr lishpa you have uh, talked about very important aspects and i am glad that uh, you have highlighted a very important study uh, would you please elaborate more on uh, uncertainty analysis and sensitivity analysis madam the uncertainty analysis were not given in the were not mentioned in the results like which analysis they used for estimating the uncertainty intervals and also not in the results section okay uh, for all the listeners would you please like to elaborate on the uncertainty analysis and what type of more data is required to do this uncertainty analysis as uh, we know that it is uh, the statistical analysis and uh, it helps to find out the quantities like mean median and population quantiles and the estimation relies on uncertainty techniques so would you like to elaborate more on it dr lishpa are you with me yes madam um, i i thought you are asking the participants no i am asking you to elaborate more on uncertainty analysis because we know that there are certain uh, uh, variables uh, where the variability of the input is affecting the output and its variable variables are affected and we have to uh, statistically quantify mean median and the uh, population quantiles so uh, what is your take about it would you please like to elaborate more on uncertainty analysis and how to and where to mention uncertainty analysis madam it aims at quantifying the variability of the output uh, due to the uh, due to any variabilities in our inputs uh, that is why it is very necessary to mention it in the uh, data uh, input analysis and in our results section which was not mentioned in the study uh, and uh, it is most oftenly performed by estimating uh, statistical quantities of interest such as mean medium and population quantiles um the, it was not mentioned in the in the studies that why i mentioned that's why i mentioned it in our limitations that it should be given would you please like to give any example about it uh example uh which probability you think that uh, is uh, more towards uncertainty analysis uh um uh, madam like uh, uh age specific death rates and uh, disability adjusted life years you need more mean median mode and uh, population parameters in order to know and quantify the uncertainty this is what i get it from the discussion okay thank you very much dr lishpa very nice presentation and uh, please uh, also uh, include two slides one for uncertainty analysis and other other for sensitivity analysis and uh, then share it in in the class otherwise it is a very good uh, presentation you have done it in a very good manner and it is really a food for thought for everyone and a good learning opportunity thank you everyone for joining in allah hafiz thank you ma'am allah hafiz